Hello, and this is Tara Alamani of Aloweb Social Marketing. In this brief video tutorial, I'm going to be talking about how to format page numbers in Word 2007. So I have a document here. I've got a table of contents, and I have a number of different pages in which I've collected uh, some of my blog posts. And I want to be able to create a footer that will accurately reflect page numbers where uh, the table of contents has a Roman numeral number one, and then page numbering starts at uh, page number one. So how do I do that? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to insert a footer. So we go to the insert ribbon, we pull on footer, and we determine which footer type that we would like to use. Uh, typically, I just start with a blank footer. And in here, then we can go to the page number and we can say we want to insert a page number at the bottom of the page. And depending on which way we want that plain page number formatted, whether we want it left, center, or right, we choose that. So in this instance, I'm going to make my page number center on this first page. And because I want this to be a little uh, Roman number one, what I'm going to do is just click on that. And where it goes to numbering, sorry, no, I'm not going to go there. I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to format page numbers. And from there, I can choose the number format. So in this instance, I pull down the drop down for the num number format. I choose the Roman numeral one and I'm going to start at page one and click OK. So you'll see now that my little page number has changed. And here I'm going to close my header and footer. You'll see I'm still on my table of contents page. And when I scroll down to the bottom, what I'm going to have is my little number one. Now, the important thing to keep in mind if I turn on the hidden codes is you will see that that page ends with a section break. And section breaks are important when you're going to change page numbers from one format to another. So in this instance, I have my odd page break, and that's created by going to page layout and page breaks and choosing the type of break you want. Uh, chapters in most books should begin on a right-facing page, so you want that to be an odd page break in most instances. So I've already done that. I don't need to do it again. So I'm going to turn off these codes, and I'm going to go to my next page, which is in my next section. Now, once again, if I scroll down to the bottom, what do I have in my footer? I have that three because this is actually the third page of the document. But what I want it to be is I want it to be number one. So I'm going to double click in there just to be able to edit the footer. And once again, I'm going to select that number. I'm going to go to the page number. I'm going to go to format page numbers. In this instance, I'm going to keep it at number format, but I'm going to say start at number one. Now, one of the important things to do here is keep in mind that any changes that I make here, if this link to previous is still on, it actually impacts the section that was previous. So you have to be careful sometimes because you can overwrite the work that you're doing uh, by keeping things connected to one another. So if I'm going to make a change, usually before I do that, I come in and I take off link to previous so that there's not a uh, connection between the two. And so now if I go to my next section, I'm going to see this next section is linked to the previous one, and that's fine. So I have my page number three. If I go to my next section, which is my next post, that's going to be uh, page number seven. Now if I close my header and footer and go back to my table of contents, what I should ideally see here at the beginning once I update it is that the page numbers will start with number one for that first topic. So I'm going to go ahead and update my entire table. And you'll see I have pages 1, 3, and 7. At the same time, I still have a little uh, Roman numeral 1 at the bottom here. So that's how you go about setting your page numbers in the footer of your document. Once again, this has been Tara Alameni of Aloweb Social Marketing. I hope you find this useful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below, and I'll answer them as I'm able. Thank you. Bye.